Okay, setting this aside, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is my coverage on the software that I found called Screenplay. Uh, it's an open source free software that is, as you saw from the beginning, but a direct competitor to Wallpaper Engine. But it's alpha, it's free, and it's open source. Now, just a uh, note, if you're looking for tutorials, link, a uh, timestamp is in the description waiting for you to click it if you want the tutorials. Okay, so now into the uh, review part. So this software I found a little while ago when I was looking for a free version of Warpier Engine. I was not willing to pay the full price and I was sure there was going to be a free version like most things out there. So I did a bit of Google searching and I found Screenplay. It's an amazing software. It's pretty much Wallpaper Engine. Just uh, in alpha and it's free and open source which is great um, but yes it is an alpha so there's not all of the polished features that you'd expect from something like Wallpaper Engine but that hopefully will be coming and I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing full on and develop uh, but now we're going to get into some tutorials so because this is an alpha and because not too many people know about software and say people want to find out how to use it i'm going to do a tutorial just for all time's sake so what we're going to start with is the menu so number one is the create menu this is where everything starts so you can create an empty widget you can create an empty html wallpaper and you can import a video you can do what that is but that's not available yet as you can see not implemented yet stay tuned and you can upload one of your projects to Steam, which will just take you to the workshop page. So, empty widget is can be either HTML or QML if you want to make like those Windows 7 gadgets on your screen. If you don't know what those are, it's like maybe a little clock or a little timer or something. That's just a widget that you can use that's kind of just their own desktop. Then an HTML wallpaper is probably if you want to have something running. You want to have something logical or something interactive. That's why you'd want an HTML wallpaper. There's a whole bunch online that you can download and use. And in the Discord server of the screenplay, link will be in the description below. Uh, you can go and there are a few HTML wallpapers submitted by the community, including one by me. Uh, then we've got uh, the import content button. So this is where you, need, where you import a video. Now, in a video is the most common form of wallpaper. So you just click import video and then you click a video Say my intro, for example, and it's called Trim Trim because I trimmed it on the Windows thing. Then you can select your uh, encoding. Uh, so VP8, VP9, it's just whether you want to use your CPU or your GPU or AMD chip. I'm not all that sure, that sure how this works, but either one of these you should be fine. If it doesn't work, try the other. So then you click Next. And then this is just the settings option. This is where you go, you can rename it what to what you want. So I'm going to call this uh, NPC Gaming Intro. Then you can type description in, you can give a YouTube URL. If, if you want someone to be linked to where you found this video from, maybe when this wallpaper is bigger and this is on the Steam workshop, then they'll be able to find the YouTube video that you got this from. You also add tags, so if you want to really get found in the workshop, then you can add tags in order for people to search it. Uh, you can also select your own preview image, say you don't want the automatic preview image it gives you, so then uh, you just wait for it to do all the loading things, and then you can set it as your wallpaper. So let's just give this a second. Okay then, so when you get the just 100%, uh, this was kind of misleading, I was <laughs> sitting there for quite a while when I first did this, waiting for this to uh, disappear entirely, but when it's on 100 and there's nothing below it, that means your thing is done, then you can save it. And then it will be added to your installed page. Now I've got a lot of wallpapers, I've also got a lot of preview list wallpapers, but yeah, that, that's, that's a story for another day. So then we've got the um, creating an empty HTML wallpaper. Uh, so then, 
it's a pretty basic thing. You just put in a name, you put in maybe a copyright owner, you put in your license, and also tags if you want to get found on Steam, and also a preview image. Now, for the warp, for the HTML uh, with CSS JavaScript, you will probably want to use a preview image because it doesn't automatically take a preview image for you. So you would probably want to screenshot your desktop and just put it as a preview image just to make it recognizable when you've got more than a manageable amount of wallpapers. Otherwise, you'd have to click on it in order to see the name. So here we just put on a name like uh, name, I don't know, nameless, uh, copyright owner, uh, hello. Uh, then you can add tags and preview image and then you can save. Now I've already got one of these, so I'm not going to add another one because it'll just make even more mess in my <laughs> in my installed page. So, I'm going to click abort. Then you've got the widget function. So, then it's pretty much the same thing, but you can select which language you're going to be using, uh, license, so you can uh, change the license, name, copyright owner, tags, preview image. That's all good and well, it's exactly the same, except this one, when you create one, it will open the directory for you so you can put the folders in. Uh, it hasn't been implemented to the HTML, so I'm going to show you how to get there in a second. But for the HTML wallpapers, over here, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to settings. You're going to need to see where the save location is. Now you can change this, but it has no effect on the workshop download path. So we'll get to the workshop in a second. So you just go to, uh, mine is currently set to my A drive because my Chrome drive is an SSD and don't have enough space in there. Steam library, Steam apps, workshop content, 672870. And inside that, one of those folders there will be one of your things. If you have a lot of wallpapers, you will have to go and search through it. That is just what you have to do. Uh, but you can also set the location. Um, then. The workshop. So now the workshop has it. This is still very much alpha. It'll be largely refined. So I can't do very much on this. I might up, up, um, update the video later on when this gets updated to be more polished. So currently the thumbnails aren't working, as you can see. You can still unload them, but the thumbnails aren't working. Uh, but if you were to want something from the uh, well, uh, from the uh, workshop then you would want to click download if you want something from here or if you want to go to the workshop page just click here and then steam will open with the screenplay workshop that's where you can upload to from the upload pro pro existing project to steam this admittedly just takes you here where if you click that you can select one of your wallpapers and upload it so how do i exit out of here abort there we go okay so then we've got the installed page. So this is where all of your wallpapers are. Now currently there isn't an easy way to manage the wallpapers from here yet or to reorder them. So this is kind of the order that you're going to be stuck with. Okay, then when you want to put a wallpaper on your desktop, you just got to go find it in your installed page. I've got a lot of them taking up a lot of space and you click on it and then you click your monitor right there. Uh, if you have more than one monitor, they'll show up in other rectangles here, but I only have one currently installed um, so I'm just gonna click that there you can set your volume so if your video that you've put has sound then you can adjust it here and if you have it on then the audio will play through then you can choose your full mode covers normal and create wallpaper and it'll go live to your desktop as you can see we've got a nice looping video as our wallpaper now this was actually animated by a person in the screenplay discord server called uh excuse me if i'm pronouncing this wrong but harambles love name is on screen uh and they made this just to showcase how amazing the community is and this has been a wallpaper which i've always wanted uh to have and now i have it this is really cool so go join the discord server and you can get even more wallpapers just like this okay now for the interactive one so uh the lead dev of of this, I had to fix this one for me. There we go, this is the correct one. This is a QML wraparound. Okay, so as you can see, there are uh, interactive wallpapers. So if I remove all wallpapers over here, and uh, there we go. So as you can see, there are interactive wallpapers. So this is the idea behind social distancing and how it works. Uh, this is Really fun to play around with, uh, it gives you the radius uh, of the uh, circles and it gives you the distance between every single one of them, so it can get pretty
pretty crazy pretty quickly and it also changes circles when you click on them again so yeah so interactive wallpapers um do work so one thing i really like is you'd have you have to remove all wallpapers and recreate it in order for it to restart so say you've got like a million little things in order to restart it you have to go into the app remove all wallpapers and then re-add it again i mean interactive wallpapers themselves are a niche yeah um and also if you click inside an application so as you can see it's only two things right now if i were to just click around over here there's already a million circles so there's there's still a few things that need to be fixed but all in all this is pretty amazing so that is how the interactive wallpapers work okay so now on to the community tab now this is where pretty much everything happens for while this is in development maybe into the future so you can request features you can say i like or you can say i wish uh and that wasn't not meant to, what i was meant to click that takes you to a website uh so this is where you can find any information about the software that you want okay so uh there's the discord uh, there's the uh, source code. So this is open source, so you can find the source code really easily. There's documents. So this is a very open software. It's f it's open source. Um, they really want uh, the dev. The dev really wants feedback, and really wants to try and make the software as good as it possibly can be, which is great. Uh, to see an active open source free software like this is amazing. And then lastly, the settings tab. Now this is very, very, very self-explanatory. So we've got auto start, whether your screenplay will start up automatically or not. High priority or auto restart. A uh, send anonymous crash reports and statistics. I always have these on for apps. I really don't care if that's my, my information. As long as it's anonymous. Well, you've got to make sure it's anonymous. Uh, in the save location, that's only for the wallpapers you use in the create tab and not the workshop tab. Language. English, uh, because I am English and I'm speaking to you in English. Then you got the pause video wallpaper rendering while another app is in the foreground. Now I've had a lot of mixed experience with this, mixed experiences with this. Um, it doesn't work too well for me, but if you can work, you can get it to work. Good for you. I think uh, it needs to be polished, but it will. I think it will do in the future. Then you got the default uh, thing mode. So I just have it on cover. That's all I really need. This is all the information about. The creator of screenplay so now how do you get it now in the discord all you need to do is go to uh go to there's a channel called post your first team create you can literally post whatever you want uh and then the key butler the bot that we use to give keys away will give you a key and that key uh you can use to put into steam and so that is screenplay in its simplest form thank you guys for watching but this has been me npc and goodbye <laughs>